Hello, everyone. I'm Wei Junyu from Tsinghua University. I'm glad to be here to introduce our research work about how to compress large-scale logs in cloud systems. This is a collaborative work from Tsinghua University, the Ohio State University, Canada University of Geosciences, and Alibaba Group. In cloud systems, such as Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, and Ali Cloud, logs are widely used. They are used for the purposes like anomaly detection, error diagnosing, system modeling, and user profiling. With the rapid development of cloud systems, the scale of logs generated per day is increasingly large. For example, Ali Cloud is generating about 1 petabyte of logs every day. We need to store these logs for a long time for multiple reasons. First, since errors will be detected much later than it was logged, we need, to, we need to investigate past logs to identify the root cause. Second, to comply with the audition requirement of local laws, Ali Cloud needs to store logs for six months, namely to store 180 petabytes. As a result, to save storage cost, compression becomes desirable. In order to compress logs, there are two groups of solutions. First, we can use general purpose compression methods such as gzip, LDMA, and etc. An alternative is log specific compression methods including log RCAP, Dream, and logzip. Among them, parser based methods like logzip will first pass a log file into templates and variables and compress them separately. These methods reported to have prominent performance over others. But is it feasible to use them on large-scale production logs? We try to answer this question in this work. To carry out this study, we collected 18 types of production logs in AliCloud with a total size of 1.76 terabyte. These logs include user behavior tracing, infrastructure monitoring, warning and error reports, and a periodical system summary. Here are sample data of four types of logs. We tested the latest parser based method logzip on production log and found it does not work as expected. Its compression ratio is worse than general purpose method LZMA on 13 out of 18 types of logs. And in terms of compression speed, it takes over 200 days to compress 1 petabyte logs with one server, which means we need at least 200 servers to compress system logs. But why? Why can puzzle based method perform well on production log? We investigate this problem and found the inability of logzip lies in the mismatches between production log features and logzip design. First, Logzip uses slow Python libraries. As a result, it has to limit the number of variables per template to reduce overhead. However, production logs have far more variables than the limit of Logzip. Besides, numerical variables take a large part in production logs, but Logzip has no specific consideration to compress this kind of variables. To address these issues, we design and implement a log reducer by matching those log features. In general, we have two major design considerations. First, we found some of the problems can be addressed by better engineering efforts, which can improve the latest puzzle-based method and fully realize its potential. Second, we have, a, we have applied it three techniques to compress numerical variables, namely delta time steps, correlation identification, and elastic encoding. According to our evaluation, log reducer can compress production logs with a satisfying compression ratio and speed, which makes it feasible to use puzzle-based compression method on large-scale cloud logs. We will give more details about these two design considerations in the following slides. First, perhaps not surprisingly, we found good engineering efforts are critical to fully realize the potential of puzzle based methods. To handle large scale logs efficiently, we re implement puzzle based approach with C, which can improve the speed dramatically. As a result, we can remove the limit on the number of variables without significantly slowing down the compression. Furthermore, we have also introduced other optimizations 
such as pruning parser tree, threshold tuning, batch processing, and etc. The detail of these methods can be found in the paper. By combining these engineering efforts, compared with logzip, we can achieve 2.2 times compression ratio and 18.4 times compression speed on average. Now we start to introduce our three techniques to compress numerical variables. First, we have observed that surprisingly, time steps take a very large part. For example, in log r, time step takes 68% of the space. This is mainly because logs can be generated at a speed of up to 1 million entries per second. AliCloud has to keep microsecond level time steps for the purposes of debugging. In order to compress this part of numerical variables, we choose traditional differential encoding and only store the differential result of adjacent time steps. Our second technique is based on the observation that some numerical variables are correlated. For example, in log f, we have IO logs to record the trunk ID, length, and offset corresponding to each write operation. If multiple write to the same trunk are sequential, the offset of current operation will be equal to the offset plus IO length of the previous operation. We propose a method to identify several kinds of correlations during training phase and apply them in compression phase. For example, if we try to apply sequential write correlation to this position, we will use the original value to subtract the results calculated according to the correlation u and only store the residue result. Compare its original values, residue results will be smaller, mostly zeros, and thus have a higher compression ratio. Our third technique is based on the observation that after performing time step differential, and cor correlation application, integers in numerical variables are usually small. It will cause a waste of space if you store every integer with four bytes. In order to trim leading zeros in integer numbers, we apply an efficient encoding method called elastic encoding. Suppose we have an integer 23. We first move the signal bit to the right end, group each 7 bit into a segment and add one more bit per segment to indicate whether it is the last segment. We will discard all zero prefix bytes, and as a result, use only one byte to represent 23. As for negative number, after moving signal bits, we can reverse all but the last bit to change leading ones to leading zeros, and do the same in the following steps. The last, the last bit can signify whether the original number is positive or negative. After this encoding, we found over 50% of integers in all 18 types of log will be represented with only one byte. Now let's take a look at the architecture of log reducer. Log reducer includes two phases, namely training phase and compression phase. During training phase, we pass a sample of system logs and use its variables to run correlation rules. The output results of training phase are log templates and correlation rules. During compression phase, we will divide log files into head and body, and encode the time step in head part by differential method. We will try to match the body part to templates to deliver template ID and variables, then apply correlation rules and encode processing results by elastic encoding. Finally, we will pack all of this with a general-purpose compression method to get the final result. Our previously mentioned techniques are all integrated in this architecture. Now let's talk about evaluation. We have done experiments on a Linux server. Our evaluation dataset consists of two parts. The first part is 18 types of production logs from AliCloud, 1.76 terabyte in total. The second part is 16 types of public logs to evaluate the generality of log reducer. We compare log reducer with two general purpose compression methods, bucket based log specific method log archive, and of course, latest parser based method log zip. According to our evaluation on production logs, 
log reducer has a highest compression ratio compared with all its four methods, and it can, it can compress 1.76 terabyte data into only 34.25 gigabyte. The compression ratio of log reducer is up to 4.8 times compared with log LZMA and up to 4 times compared with log zip. In terms of compression speed, log reducer is up to two orders of magnitude higher than log zip and is comparable to LZMA. Finally, evaluation results on public dataset demonstrate the generality of log reducer. The details can be found in the paper. Now we can answer our previous question. Is it feasible to use parser-based methods on large-scale logs? The answer is a resounding yes. But we have learned that an efficient implementation is critical to realize the full potential of this method. Besides, there are more opportunities to compress numerical variables. By combining such efforts, we can achieve a significant improvement in compression ratio with a satisfactory speed. We have open sourced the log reducer and published the samples of production logs. Thank you, and I'm glad to take any questions.